When doing business with spiders I advise that you always honor your debts I have it on the very good authority of a most reliable insider that though they seem harmless, even dare I say kind, on the day of the deal when the contract is signed, and though I cannot stress enough that you must bear in mind that they do not forgive and they will not forget. Tell yourself, what have I possibly got to lose? But even a humble music teacher who has never known the warm breath of love, whose cold heart has no room in it for friendship, companionship, partnership, or any manner of ship whatsoever, <laughs> they will find who long ago traded his soul for a can of trombone grease and a very rare limited edition Chet Baker LP. No, even a man such as this is not immune, for somehow they know the architecture of his heart even better than he knows it himself. And they will find that one thing or person that he cherishes above all else in this world, that single creature whose present gives him just a little rush of joy. We'll use just for example, a boy. A pudgy, awkward little boy. We'll just call him Harold. Ignored and abused by his schoolmates. Spectacularly unmemorable in almost every respect. But with a certain promise on the clarinet and a... Not without a charming lack of fashion sense. <laughs> Everybody! The act with speed, great precision, and professional care. Leaving just a warm smudge of blood and a little bit of hair. And an endlessly echoing scream through the halls. As if to intimate that his horrible suffering has still not ended yet at all. And I know that the terms of the contract were abundantly clear. The language concise and the interest rates fair. But as much as one pleads and as much as one begs to their eight empty eyes and their long furry legs. He isn't coming back. He really isn't coming back. of this. I was going to get you the money. I told you that. Four, three, two, one. Night Vale High is number one. Zero, negative one, negative two. If we go down, then so will you. I'm so sorry, Harold. I am so, so sorry.